Hello, everyone. Welcome to True Path Astrology. This is Rajni. This is the monthly predictions for the month of June 2021 for all Libra ascendants based on Vedic astrology. Now, this will be a general prediction based on transits. Now, if you are interested in getting a specific reading of your birth chart, you may reach out to me through my website or you can even reach out to me by email. Our life is very interesting because it keeps changing from time to time. And that's what makes our life uh, interesting most of the time. Imagine if we have the, time, the same kind of day, uh, day uh, you know, same kind of life day in and day out. Uh, our life changes because the planets keep moving in the sky and that brings uh, different results to our life. And we go through different madasha. Uh, in our lives too, be it in the area of your career, uh, finance, marriage, uh, love life, and uh, your health as well. And we do see it affecting our lives in all of these areas. Uh, so let us see what is in store for all Libra ascendants for the month of uh, June. Now, I will first share with you the planetary position in the sky, and then I will provide you with some uh, highlights for the month of June, a quick summary, you can say, and then in the later part of the video, I will go into detail uh, on each of the topics. Now, we have Ketu in the second house, Saturn in the fourth uh, house, Jupiter in the fifth house, and Sun and Rahu in the eighth. Sun will be here until June 14th. Now, Mars, Mercury, and Venus, they, they are in the ninth house. Now, Mars will move into the 10th house on June 2nd and will become uh, uh, debilitated there. So just the brief highlights, or I can say a quick summary for the month of June for you. Now, you could experience a little up and down in your career uh, in the first uh, part of the month. Uh, your boss may try and point out a few things to you about your work, which may not be favorable to you. And some of the projects that you were meant to tackle uh, may seem like uh, slipping out of your hand uh, this month. And you may need to be alert and be careful around any jealous uh, colleagues who may try and orchestrate something uh, to bring you down. So be watchful. And now that you know that uh, there is a possibility of this, and if you are careful and take uh, measures, you will succeed in bagging the projects you wanted to do in the first place. And if you're careful, you can ev even uh, evade uh, any of the attempts by those jealous colleagues uh, to bring you down. Now, finance side, I would say uh, your life should see a uh, good flow uh, this month. Now, money uh, you may have lent uh, to people may not come back to you this month. So wait and don't push it this month. The, to get it back. Now, family relationship and especially your relationship with your spouse will go well. Make sure that you stick to your good eating habits um, this month. And uh, this is not the time to try out any new uh, exquisite dishes uh, because that may not sit well with you uh, in your stomach. So this was a quick summary for you to keep in mind before the month starts and so that you can plan your month accordingly. Now, let us get into the details of the month uh, for this month on each topic. Now let's look at career. Now overall, your career matters this month should go well and uh, will be just a little above average. Now it would be advisable if you could do a self-evaluation of your job early on in the month, uh, what you do, how you do, and what kind of improvement uh, you can do. That will benefit you throughout this month. And as I said earlier, uh, be careful with the surroundings in your job and keep your eyes and ears open to what is happening and you should be okay. So those in their own business this month should go uh, find that this month will go smoothly for you and you will see some good gain. And some of you may see yourself succeeding in your plans to expand your business this month. Now, uh, let's talk about uh, finance for you. Now, you can remain stress-free 
uh, throughout this month when it comes to your finance area. Don't expect the money that you have lent to the others to come back to you. As I said earlier, uh, that will not come this month. You may have to wait a little bit. Your investments from the past will yield good results for some of you. Now, income from your career will be steady uh, for uh, most of you. And for those in business, you should see some good gain and profit uh, from your business this month. Now let's quickly talk about uh, health. Please be watchful of your health this month. Take extreme care to protect yourself from minor accidents. Now Sun and Rahu are placed in your eighth house. Now, eighth house denotes uh, sudden events, and because Sun and Rahu are two cruel planets and they are placed in your eighth house, you need to be um, extra watchful of your health this month. Now, this situation is until June 14th only, and after which Sun will move into the ninth house and you should be able to enjoy good health uh, in the latter part of the month. Now let's talk about love, romance, and marriage for you. A very good month for love and romance. Jupiter is blessing the fifth house by sitting in that house and that also with benefic moon there. There is no better time than this month for matters of love and romance for you. You will bond um, very well with your love partner. There will be good emotional understanding uh, and also a good uh, attraction between the two of you this month. And you both will be committed to um, each other and uh, you will do everything to strengthen the relationship. Now, you may even go on a nice romantic trip uh, together. Now, for those married, uh, this month will be good for you too in, with regards to marital relationship. You both will have good bonding together and will be able to spend some good time together. Your spouse will um, have some gain uh, this month because of which uh, you both will be benefited. Now, let's talk about family. Now, your relationship with your family members will be average. You have Ketu in the second house of uh, speech uh, and family members, which could make your speech bit harsh. Not only Ketu, but Sun and Rahu, the two cruel planets aspecting the second house, which will actually aggravate um, your speech a little bit this month. And Saturn is in the fourth house. Now, fourth house denotes happiness around home environment, and you will feel a little bit um, of up and down situation when it comes to happiness in the family environment. Now, you may feel yourself uh, isolated from the family. Now, June 2nd to July 20th, you will have to check on your parents' health as Mars will be aspecting the fourth house, which may cause a bit of challenge to their health. Now, let's uh, talk about uh, some remedies uh, for you this month. I would say chant some simple mantras daily morning, simple one-liner mantras. Try fasting on Tuesdays if you can. Try and wear white color clothes this month. Uh, these are the remedies I was thinking of for you. Now, some favorable days for you would be 1st, 7th, 10th, 13th, 19th, 25th, and uh, 28th. Some unfavorable days would be 2nd, 3rd, 11th, 12th, 21st, and uh, of course, 29th. So this was the overview for the month of June for all Libra Ascendants. Hope you liked this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like this, uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.